Yo, what's up my Samuel Towels? How you doing today? It's Chris, and what we're going to do today is we're going to show off uh, all the primary monkeys. Just talk about the primary monkeys individually, and whether or not you should be alchemizing them. If you guys like this series, I'll probably go through the military monkeys, the magic monkeys, and maybe even go into the, the support monkeys a little bit as well, if you guys are interested. So of course, let me know in the comments below. Of course, like the video if this is something that's interesting to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I actually want to explain the alchemists, because I still feel like people are probably confused by these things. And of course, they are confusing towers. They're really wonky, and now that they work differently, they're going to affect things in different ways. I feel like most of the time, the best way to explain things is with tests. But before we get there, I just wanted to read this out loud really quick, because honestly, this doesn't give us that much information. I need to explain this information. Um, so larger potions, just larger potions, aesthetic mixture dip, this is going to allow us to pop uh, lead balloons, do extra damage to ceramic and mobile class balloons, but it wears off really quickly, so it really doesn't do that much. Um, basically, if you just want your ninja to pop leads or something like that, like, okay, pop this guy in there, it'll, it'll pop some leads. Uh, Burst of down there. we're finally going to buff some towers, guys. Third tier is going to buff, but I'm actually not going to talk too much about the Berserk Brew. I actually want to talk about the Stronger Stimulant, which I think most people are going to go for in the first place. But this is what's going to give us all the information here, okay, guys? Keep in mind that the Berserk Brew is basically the same thing as Stronger Stimulant. It just lasts longer and adds plus one pierce. That's it. That's it. So, uh... Monkeys do extra damage, so th this is legit. When they say damage, it's not just like a certain amount of pop and power or something like that. No, it's like, it's legit damage. So what a damage is, you guys know, like a sniper can pop two layers off of a balloon. That's basically what a damage is. So when you pop a green down into a blue, that's one damage. You pop a green down into a red, that is two damage. Uh, damage can be really, really effective for higher class balloons too, like rainbows, because you can not just knock off two balloons with one of those shots, you can knock off up to four or even more, depending on how much damage you're actually doing. So damage is a really interesting concept in the game. Um, I could affect a lot of issues over here, but basically what you want to understand is that we're doing plus one damage, so for most towers that already have just one damage, we're basically doubling the popping power with that thing, alright, and that's very key to understand. Range, okay, well we're getting extra range, I think you guys can kind of understand that pretty easily. Adds range. Uh, and then attack speed. It's not a huge attack speed, but it's also a, a minor amount of attack speed. But what they don't tell you is that they give you extra pierce. Alright? And that's probably the most important thing about this. Uh, it basically says an even more powerful, powerful effect on the target and lasts even longer. So when we get this fourth tier, um, all it's doing is, like I said, adding a little extra pierce. That's basically it. We are basically have the third tier, we're adding extra pierce, but now it lasts a longer time. So, for most towers, you probably want to get this because you want them to have the stronger stimulant effect the entire time. But not on every tower. If you've got a slow shooting tower, Berserker Brew might be good enough. Basically, if it's a slow shooting tower, Berserker Brew is good enough. If it's a, 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 a sort of fast shooting tower, you probably want to get this guy upgraded. And then you'll just have the, st the stimulant on for a longer time. So that's basically this kind of nutshell. But I think you guys probably don't want me to understand with words. You want me to you want me to show you with the balloons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send out uh, some red balloons here actually. And what we're gonna notice is the pierce. All right. So notice we got three pops per shot. Six, nine, twelve. It's every single time. It's three. When you look at this guy though. It's gonna be six every single time. 48, 54, 60, 66, 72. It's gonna be six every single time. And what that means is that we're getting the double pierce out of this guy. Or actually, rather, plus three pierce. Going from three to six. And I think that's an interesting concept here. Plus three, not double. Alright, if it was double, holy crap, this guy would be absolutely insane. It's just a plus. And that means it's going to affect low tier towers, or, you know, weaker towers even more. Which is kind of an interesting concept about the alchemist, is that the lower the tower is, the weaker the tower is, the more you buff them. As you upgrade them, the alchemist tends to lose his buffing effects. So that's sort of goofy, because, of course, you want to get higher tier towers, you want the towers to be amazing, but then your alchemist doesn't mean as much. It's weird, I know. So anyways, that's for red balloons, but now actual total popping power here can be much more interesting, because if I send out some blue balloons here, what you're going to notice is that if I was getting the max pop count out of every single one of these guys every single time, in fact, let's just overload the map a little bit with crap tons of blue balloons here, uh, we should be getting um, 12 every single time. So we're going to go 76, 88, 600, 6, 12, yep, if it's getting powered up here, not doing it anymore, 70, oh, 
up, up, up. Depends if we're attacking reds or blues and if we're getting powered up or not. But he should be attacking 12 every single time because basically we're doubling the pierce uh, to six balloons and then we're doing double damage hitting all blues, which is popping, um, you know, all six of those blues down into nothing. 12 total balloons. Uh, this is really, this is really weird. Um, like I said, that means low tier tower is going to do way more pops. So if you actually look at just kind of roughly our pop count so far, this guy's got 352, this guy's got 1,088. That's more than three times. And in fact, what you can do is you can do even more total pops than that with just like a simple low level tower here. So another great way to show this off is just with the, uh, oh crap, the ninja. Which one's the ninja here, guys? There we go. There's the ninja. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up just a crap ton of balloons again. We'll send it some rainbows and stuff. Uh, and you can see we just got going to do two every single time, right? Two, 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 two. But this guy's going to do way more damage. You actually don't even know exactly how much he's going to do. He's going to, he should be able to do five pierce. He should be able to do 20 pops per shot max. If he's getting his max popping power. Maybe even more, actually, if he's popping rainbows uh, down into something else because he's sort of skipping a layer. Now, this isn't actually that great of a, a thing to show you guys because you're probably confused on what the heck he's doing. But basically, just look at the pop count already. you notice 602 to 82. More than six times as powerful for this guy right here. Holy crap, that's pretty strong, man. Now, if we send out red balloons, though, um, let's change this to... No, I guess this is fine. Let's just sell these guys to rebind to get our pop count back down to nothing. And... I'm trying to learn the hotkeys. I'm trying, guys. If we do just red balloons here, um, you're going to see again it's going to be two, 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 two. But this guy is going to every single time is going to do that five popping power. So uh, basically, all we're doing is we have the standard two plus three pierce equals five. Perfection. So now we've got the alchemist down. Now we understand the alchemist in all of his glory, guys. Plus three pier pierce, plus one damage, plus a couple other random buffs here and there. All right, that's cool. So now we want to know, does it affect the dart monkeys enough to make them worthwhile? Does it affect the boomerangs, the cannons, the hackers, the ice towers, or the glue gunners enough to make them worthwhile? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a pretty massive test right here, guys. We're going to do uh, uh, two dart monkeys here. We're going to do two dart monkeys here. And we're going to do two dart monkeys over here. And what we're going to do is we want to put an alchemist on each one of these guys. So we want to put an alchemist here, an alchemist here. And an alchemist here. And we're going to get all these guys upgraded to this uh, third tier upgrades of different paths. So we're going to get one triple shot with razor sharp shots. One triple shot with razor sharp shots. We want to get the catapult going. So we'll get a catapult. We'll just leave it as a catapult for now. Um, and then we're going to get uh, two crossbows over here. And we're just going to overload the screen entirely. Alright, just overload the screen entirely with balloons. In fact, you know what? I feel like I should probably move him down just a little bit here, guys. As long as he's out of range of this, that's fine. Um, there we go. 0-3. Zero, 0-3. Zero, 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 okay. So we're just going to overload the map with tons and tons of rainbows. Just get him going in here. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, we screwed up here pretty bad, didn't we? Well, kind of, actually. Not too bad. We want to get the fourth years. I forgot about that. We want to we see what the alchemist is doing here. <laughs> so, um... Let's send out crap tons of rainbows. Now, if you notice, they were about 100 at the same time, so it's not going to affect it too much, all right? Especially if we let it ride out for a pretty long time over here. So what this is doing, what this weird test is doing, you might be thinking, wow, there's lots of balloons going through, Chris. That just looks terrible. It looks stupid. You look like a complete balloons idiot over here. Well, all we're really doing is we're just testing out um, approximately who is popping more balloons, all right? And by how much are they actually popping? And how much money are we spending on these alchemists? Is it going to be worth it to buy an alchemist for an individual crossbow monkey or something like that? That's definitely something to keep in mind right here, guys. All right, so let's clear out the balloons, and let's see what our pop counts are at. So an alchemized dart monkey got 11,000 pops here. Non-alchemized got 2,673. That's about four and a half, five times as many pops. That's a pretty significant amount of pops right there. But keep in mind, a low-tier dart monkey like this is only going to cost you just over, what, 1500 bucks, Something like that. Where an alchemist is going to cost you 500 700 uh, about 1000 2000 about 4000 some odd dollars right here. Uneasy. So, is it going to be worth it to spend $4,000 to power up your $1,500 tower over here? 
when you can just buy two of them instead. Well, actually, in this scenario, it's pretty gosh darn close. Uh, if you're trying to get your max popping power, though, and most people aren't trying to max out. Most people are trying to just pop some balloons here. So really, in the end, for going just like standard art monkeys with a fourth tier alchemist, you probably don't want to do it. Um... It's probably not going to get the max damage, it's probably not going to get the max pierce out of every single shot, and you're going to end up not making him be all that efficient. As far as catapults go, we got 5,000 here and 1,495. Again, a pretty significant difference here, only about three times the difference here, instead of about four and a half to five. So catapults, better off just probably spamming some more catapults than buying an alchemist on these guys. That's pretty significant, but actually, kind of surprising that we're actually doing that much more damage. That much more pop power. Ooh, this is real interesting, though, guys. We're going to get 3,743 to 1,000. It's about 3.7 times as powerful as this guy right here. Again, kind of close in the middle of everybody, right? Is it worth to get? No, because these guys are just too cheap. If you go up to a higher tier tower, well, then it might start to get a little bit more interesting. Once you start to get to the fourth tiers over here. So I actually can't really test out a Super Monkey Fan Club in an efficient way. But I can test out the Juggernauts. So we're just going to reposition these guys. We're going to do a Juggernaut test here. One Juggernaut there. And we're going to do the same thing here with uh, fourth tier uh, crossbows. Oops. Did not mean to do that, but uh, I guess that's okay. Yeah, which gives you get razor sharp shots on them. Why not? Why not, man? If you're gonna get the fourth tier, you're gonna get razor sharp shots, so I guess that's good. You're gonna get one, two, three, four, and then um sharp shots, razor sharp shots. Okay. So again, all we're gonna do is we're going to send out a crap ton of balloons here. Uh we're gonna overload the entire Oh, he got some pops. That's okay though. That's okay. We're gonna get a crap ton of blooms coming out here. We're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just fully unload the rainbows here, guys. All out. Um, and again, we're just gonna see who's getting more pops. This guy got a slight advantage because he was uh, kind of close to the balloons over here. But, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to watch it and see how it goes here. But we're hoping that all, all of our towers are basically getting the max pops out of their their shots. It looks like so far, they definitely are. Um, you know, they're barely ever missing. They might be hitting lower tier balloons over here and there, but realistically it's going to be pretty gosh darn close in the end. And the longer you go here, the the, the more accurate your numbers are going to be. So I don't want to go forever, though. We just kind of want to see what's going on here. Let's get rid of these guys again, and let's see what we're at. So a Juggernaut, 24,000 compared to 7,000. Ooh, now this is getting sort of interesting. This might actually be a more efficient way to to buy a juggernaut. If you're already spending eighteen hundred bucks on this guy, maybe uh, you know twenty five hundred bucks or so, buying another juggernaut might be too expensive. So if you wanted to power up a juggernaut to get that double damage right there, that might be a great thing to do, guys. And that's the main thing that we're doing with this juggernaut is we're doing double damage from one um, uh, from popping a red down to nothing to a blue down to nothing with this alchemist. Normally, it only popped down that one layer. As far as the crossbows go, we get 8,600 and 3,500. Barely double. Ooh, that might not be worth it here, guys. Seems like you might be better off saving up for something better or just powering through and just getting one sharpshooter, and that's about it. You don't need to power them up with an alchemist or anything like that. Double is double sounds good, but, but is it actually good? This is the max that we're ever going to get out of these. They're never going to be that good, all right? That's one thing I want you guys to understand, is no matter what the, the numbers say right now, they're never going to be as, as that good in a real game. All right, so this was basically just the Dart Monkey test. Um, there are more tests to go into of all the different types and everything like that, but really what you want to understand out of all of this is that basically if you're going Dart Monkeys, you probably don't want to pop power them up with alchemists. Just about it all. Now what we want to do is we want to test out some Boom Booms. All right, so we got a couple different varieties of boomerangs here. We're not going to go into every single boomerang. We're going to do a very similar test here. We're actually going to do them... Uh, let's do it like this. We'll pop them just sort of over here like that. So they can just... Whatever they are, they're doing it consistently. So I would say, if you're going to go for a boomerang and you're even thinking about powering up with an alchemist, you're probably going third tiers again, as usual, guys. So we're going to go for a Glaive Ricochet here. A Glaive Ricochet here. We're going to go for a... Uh, Binding Boomer, but this time around, I'm not going to just chill with low level. We're going to go for the Glaives. I think most people are going to go for the Glaives. You could go for the bottom path, though. But not if you're powering up... Not if you're planning on powering it up with an Alchemist, probably. Because basically, if you're going bottom path, 
you're getting double damage. You're getting uh, um, plus one damage to double damage. Actually, the Red Hot Rings are, yes, already doubling your damage, but you're only getting plus one damage with an Alchemist, so you're going up to three damage instead of just the original two. So you're not doubling it from the beginning. You're only, what, 50 percenting it or whatever. And then we've got the bottom path here. We've got the Kali Boomerang right here. And, uh, you know, again, you can go any which way you want, but uh, I think I'm going to go for the uh, faster throwing for these guys just to kind of have it. I mean, if you're going to go for something, I think this is what most people would do. Um, actually, similar thing again, guys, uh, with this guy. You can go with the uh, uh, the bottom path here and go for double damage. And a 3-0 boomerang with double damage is going to be pretty cool. You know, but with the alchemist, with the test here, I don't really want to test it too much because I don't think it's going to be all that efficient. So we're going to go alchemist here, alchemist there. I'm going to power up. Let's power up this one down here. And of course, we actually have to upgrade him this time, guys. <laughs> all right. There it is. Big boy, stronger stimulants. And again, we just want to overflow the screen. This could be a little harder this time because we've got some nice towers right here. We sent out uh, at least, I don't know, what are we thinking? One, two, three, four, five. At least five sets of gigantic rainbows here. Hopefully that's enough. Got all the same towers, right? Two, three, two, three. Zero, two, three, zero, two, three. Okay, perfect. It's exactly what you want to see. And we're just going to let it fly, let it ride, baby. See what happens with the pop, the total pop count. See what kind of magic we can make happen here, man. We're in the, we're in the Disney Kingdom or what? No. No. Screw Mickey Mouse. Who's been Mickey Mouse's mouth? What? What? What are you saying? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyways, let's clear these guys out. Let's see if boomerangs are going to be an efficient tower to use. So this guy's going to get 23 grand to 7,000. About three times as much full-on popping power as that guy right there. Again, maybe. You know, I, I could see it maybe being worthwhile here. You're already spending a pretty good amount of money to get Glaive Ricochet, so powering him up with an Alchemist might be worth it. Especially if you can use it in combination with maybe two or even three towers over here instead of just one. Bionic Boomer. Very similar aspect here, guys. Uh, it's going to be about three times as much popping power. You might want to go for an Alchemist right here. Um, I completely understand if you built just two of them instead, but maybe you want to go for an alchemist on this guy. It might be a good way to go. This guy, we've got uh, 2,000 to 4,000. I would say it's probably not worth it because he's also a much cheaper boomerang than some of the other boomerangs that we've fought and uh, we've had to deal with so far. Just not all that effective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resell these guys and we're going to... Um, let's see if I can get the hotkey. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm not used to the hotkeys yet, guys. W. There it is. W. Haha. <laughs> Boom, boom. We'll W this up. Boom, boom. We're going to do the exact same thing here. And we're just going to see again. Oh, come on. It's going to affect the numbers a little bit, but not that bad. Uh, we're going to go for a fourth tier with Fast with Rowan. And we're going to go for another fourth tier with Fast with Rowan. This time around, we'll change it up just a little bit. We're going to go for... Actually, this is perfect. Because what I want to do is I want to go for a 3-2 this time around. Not go up to fourth here because those are abilities, and abilities just mess things up all over the place. We get a Moab press here, and I think we're again we're just gonna go with the fast throwing. I think that's what I would usually go for in most situations, but I guess it depends who you are. All right, so let's overflow the screen again. We're gonna have to go even crazier this time around because there's gonna be two more glaives guys over here. So let's actually send out uh, some ceramics, some rainbows, and just mix them up a little bit and just overload the crap out of them over here. All right. Definitely got the overflow happening here, and surprisingly, not lagging just about at all. Um, I mean, there's like a minor, minor amount of lag, but for this many blooms on the screen, dude, we're dealing with literally tens of thousands of blooms at this point, and we're still doing a great job at them. We're losing lots of lives, though, so... Oh, I got sneeze. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's coming. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, let's clear these guys out and let's look at the numbers again. We got 60,000 oh, to 19,000. I would say that guy's worth it, man. I mean, we're, we're talking about a, he's already a pretty expensive tower at about four, four and a half grand or so. Maybe up to 5,000 total. And uh, uh, we're tripling our popping power at this rate. So, again... It's, it's the max count, so it's not going to really equalize that out that, that much, but it's still pretty interesting. Before, they were three times of, uh, a difference here, and again, 
Sort of similar, not quite three times. Right? 1400 times three is what? 2800? 4200? 4200? So right around three times again. So it does not seem to matter what kind of 2 3 boomerang you're going for if you're trying to power them up with an alchemist. Uh, but uh, I can't relate them back to the other boomerangs because we sent out different amounts of balloons. Alright, and then for the Moab press, I mean, it didn't send out Moab class balloons, so this really doesn't matter that much, but again, something very similar here about double. Alright, cool. So, after all was said and done for boomerangs, should we be going for any alchemized boomerangs? Well, the only ones that I think I would go for is probably the more glaives. Getting double, uh, uh, uh more glaives damage here is going to be pretty freaking sweet. I wouldn't mind going for uh, one of these two three boomerangs or you know three twos, but really I would try and stay away from the bug presses a little bit if you're trying to power this guy up with an alchemist. It just doesn't work all that well, and I think the main reason why is that again we're getting plus three pierce on these guys. All right, which the pierce doesn't matter that much on these guys. It's mostly about damage, but for these guys he already does two damage. All right, and that's why it doesn't affect it that much because. You know, we're going from 2 damage to 3 damage instead of 1 to 2. We're not doubling it, we're only adding an extra 50% onto that thing. So, for boomerangs, that's really what I would stay at. Now, 5th tiers, I'm not going to talk about too much here, because they get really, really wonky. Um, they're almost, like, too powerful to, to deal with here, so I don't want to go into too much detail on the 5th on the, on the tiers. I just mostly want to talk about these uh, lower tiers so far. Now, cannons, another really interesting tower. I think we got to talk about the 3rd tiers mostly, so let's go for the 3rd tiers. Let's get our cannons going in here. There's something very similar on the back back here. Seemed to work out pretty well. And then, uh, here we go. We're going to H5 this bad boy, this bad boy, and this bad boy. All right, and then we're going to go for a uh, uh, really big bombs here, which I don't know, man. It's going to be a little weird, but let's do it anyways. If I'm going to go if I'm going really, really really big bombs, I usually go faster reload, so we're going to do that for both of these guys. If I go for the Moab Mauler, I usually just keep Moab Maulers, so we're going to leave it like that. And then if I go for the bottom path, I go cluster bombs with bigger bombs and heavy bombs. So I'm going to stick with my uh, my normal plays here, guys. My normal upgrade combos that I get. And I'm just going to set out a crap ton of ceramics again. And we're just going to see how it goes down. Uh, let's do... Because I really don't have black popping power here. I could add in a, a quick monkey village with black popping power here. That would not be terrible. Yeah, let's do it. Why not, man? Let's get the black popping power. If they all have it, it doesn't matter. It equals equalizes out. Black popping power with just big radius, cuz. And we're sending a crap ton of. Let's just do rainbows. All right. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do ten sets of rainbows here. I will just speed it up. Let it ride. Let it ride. Let's see what we could do over here, man. Cluster bombs actually not getting the max popping power yet. I think. uh... Cluster Bombs are actually doing almost too good of a job finally getting the max pop count, probably. We're probably pretty pretty freaking close here, but I think they're both in pretty equal positions. I don't think it's going to affect it all that much. Uh, it's just it's good to see it happen here. Probably going to run out of lives pretty soon, too. We're going to let it run for another 10 seconds or so, then we're going to kind of just look at the pop count here, then we're going to go up to the fourth tiers, do the exact same thing, and see if these guys can be worthwhile. I believe that we could probably pop most of the balloons with those fourth tier guys. Mega stunning action over here. Uh, these guys don't do much as fourth tiers, but these guys, oh heck yeah, dude. Alright, so let's clear these guys out and check out what happened. So this alchemist is going to power up to 8,000 compared to 2,000, about three times as much. Probably not worth it, but eh, for the cannon, probably not worth it for this guy. Probably. But it's, it's right in between. Moab Maulers! Uh, about triple again. Very interesting. We're getting almost triple for every single one of these guys. Just odd to see that happen. And then 5,000 to 10,000, only double. So I feel like I really like powering this guy up with the Alchemist, but I think it's mostly just that he's so good in the first place, you know? He popped 10,000 balloons. Compare that to this guy, who's, uh, you know, all the way in the front over here, got to attack for a little bit longer, and still didn't even get close to the amount of pops that these guys got. It's fairly intriguing to see that unfolding. Though we did spend, uh... No, we spent a pretty equal amount of money. Actually spent more money on this guy. Woo! All right. So we're going to sell these guys back out. Boom, 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 boom. And, uh, hotkey. Where's the hotkey for cannons? We got, uh, three. Is that E? E. Yes, I'm learning. I'm learning. I like learning. Learning is good. Sometimes. Except when you learn about terrible things in the world. So we're going to go for another fourth tier here. 
with the rat faster reload. Um, who the heck? We'll just leave these guys out. They don't really matter. We'll leave a zero zero cannon. Just see what the heck happens. Just for fun. And then we're gonna go for the uh, recursive cluster here with the uh, super mega bombs. Boom boom. All right. Let's do it again here, guys. We're gonna send out a bunch of ceramics and rainbows combined together. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough to get the uh, the craziness going in here. Though, pretty wild amount of pops here with our recursive clusters in the back, man. Recursive clusters are crazy good these days. When they get that third shot every, or that second shot, oh baby, they are powerful. So we'll let it ride for a little bit longer, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll see where we're at. Basically, yep, we are getting the max pop count out, though. Again, the longer you wait, the better you're off. Uh, what have we got so far? 10,000, 4,000, about double. Probably, maybe, worth it to alchemize, but honestly, no. Probably not. Basically, at this point, all you're getting is the double damage. That's it. In fact, no, I think it might even be that much, because I think this guy already does two damage, so it might even be less than that. This cannon, though, again, fairly similar. Probably don't want to go to any low-tier uh, uh, guys over there. And then, uh, again, fairly similar over here. We're talking 32 to 62. Uh, at this point, at this price point, it's possible for you to use these, but it's not a necessity at all. It's just a thing. If you want to do it, it's going to work out for you to help out a little bit. But um, I think, it, again, it just depends a little bit. So realistically, for the, the cannons... Overall, I wasn't a big... I'm not a huge fan of the Alchemists on any of these guys. I feel like none of them are really worthwhile. They're all okay, but none of them are like, oh, I need the Alchemist on this guy. It's just absolutely a necessity for us. But now, we're getting to some interesting, interesting towers here, guys. So we're actually going to have to reposition some of our uh, things over here. We're going to go for two textures here. Two textures. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. I'm still used to the old hotkeys. I'm gonna go two textures here. They're fairly similar. I'm gonna go for two textures here. Uh, I think this will be okay. One and one. that should be okay. All right, and again, same thing here, guys. We're gonna power them up with the uh, the power of alchemy. Alchemize these boys. All right. Of course, all the way up to fourth tier. And these are, again, going to be really wild. These, who knows what the heck's going to happen for these guys. Because there's a bunch of different bunch of different kinds to go for. But of course, if I'm going to go for anything, it's at least going to be a third tier here. So we're going to get hot shots with, uh, how about more more attacks there. Let's get some uh, hot shots again with more attacks. Let's try out a uh, quick blade shooter here with faster shooting. Common ones here. And then a uh, attack sprayer with faster shooting. Faster shooting. Double faster shooting. Alright, and then again, we're going to test this guy out. we got uh, two more towers to go, by the way. But uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the uh, ice tower or the glue gunner. I'm just going to kind of walk through them real quick and just see where we're at with some of the, the nicer uh, combos. So again, uh, let's go for a bunch of rainbows. See what's going to happen on these guys. One thing I'm actually... I'm kind of impressed, though, by this guy's just overall popping power. Oh, man, based on what I just saw right there, that looks insane, though. Holy crap. If that pop count is legit, we're talking 10k to 1,000. Ten times as much. Oh, 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 man. If we're getting the max damage out of this thing, holy crap, that's insane. Let's check out this blade shooter. We got 15 grand to 5 grand. Okay, about three times as much. And then this one is 7 to 7. Is this guy getting powered up by the Alchemist? No, I don't think he is. Maybe he is. That? What the heck? Let me try to get that Alchemist on there just a little bit better. Just to confirm, man. Uh, this guy's gotta be powered up. What the heck? Looks like he's pulling away. I think we need to redo that test. So anyways, I'm going to redo this test for this guy. Um, but look at this thing, man. 34,000 to 3,500. Absolutely insane. 
alchemist power up out of this guy. And I don't think it's because of positioning or anything like that. I think we're getting the max popping power out of both of these guys. Um, or at least pretty close, you know? Uh, whatever it is, it's pretty equal. Even if you miss with these four or whatever, you're going to miss with these four on the other side, you know? Uh, Blade Shooters, again, fairly consistent, about three times as much. All right. This one I have to redo for sure because I don't know if that's legit right there, guys. So let's, let's upgrade these guys, though. Let's go for a Ring of Fire and see if that's going to be worth it. I think I have to do uh, a little bit closer, though. We're going to try and put it in the middle here. Go for a double Ring of Fire. Let's go for another Alchemist here. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, we're going to go for a quick... Ring of Fire with uh, extra range. That's the way I like to do it, usually. Extra range. I'm going to try uh, Blade Maelstroms, we actually don't even need to do. Though, it could be interesting to, to see, maybe. Maybe if that effect did. I don't know. Could be interesting. All right, all right, all right, let's try, let's try. Just cuz. Why not, man? Why not? We got the, we got the time. Let's do it. Let's do a uh, quick Blade Maelstrom. Um, and a quick Blade Maelstrom. I won't even do anything else. I'll just leave Miss Blade Maelstroms. And then these guys, I think we're gonna have to sell it and buy it again because this is just this is so goofy. I can't believe it if they're uh, the same. It just doesn't make any sense. Even even with a weird positioning here, it just it wouldn't make sense for them to be the same. In fact, this guy should be way better. That's like a way better position. All right, this was a tax sprayer, tax sprayer, and let's go again. Oh, the amount of balloons that I'm gonna send out is gonna be absolutely insane. All right, let's do. Uh, <laughs> Let's just try a crap ton of rainbows here. Oh my god, so many rainbows. So many rainbows. <laughs> and the Ring of Fire finally getting overwhelmed over here. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't get it. I don't I don't get it, guys. Why? why? I can see him throwing the potions at this thing. You can see they're randomly throwing the pink potions over here. So that's just really weird. Um... Right? He's, he's gotta be. Threw the green potion. It looks like he threw the pink potion. I thought I saw it right there. Alright. Really weird. Oh, weird ways. Let's double Maelstrom! <laughs> just see the difference. Um, what? Th th just Was that it? It was just like, that's it? Really? Did they use their max pop count or what? Alright, anyways. 2019. Okay, not a big difference there. 21 to 40. Oh. What? What? Whoa, 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 what? 21,000 to 40,000? The one getting powered up by the alchemist is going to be less? That's gotta be a mistake, man. Oh my goodness, this these textures are getting wonkier every second, baby. All right, uh, we gotta do one more test here, guys. Weird as crap. Another ring of fire. Another ring of fire. Long range and long range. Is he getting powered up by something? Oh, he is getting powered up by that guy. Okay, so he's too close. Maybe that's why. Let's try him just a little bit further back. Let's see if he's still gonna power him up though. No, out of range. Still out of range, really? Alright. There we go. He's just throwing it at this one. It's exactly what we want to see. Okay, okay. This one, though, holy crap, dude. Like, there's there's no way that... that look at him. He's, they're definitely throwing the potions at this thing. And it's just... It's so weird to see it both be at 6,000. But because of that, I can go for the overdrive now and see if that's going to change anything. What Tax shooters are wild, though. All right, let's try it again. Let's go uh, crap ton of rainbows. A little bit of ceramic action in the middle there. And uh, see where we're at. And uh, now we've got some really powerful towers over here. So I don't know... <laughs> I kind of wanted to do something with these guys, get a Super Maelstrom or something, just to see how much damage we can do. Maybe I'll do that for the, the late game here, just kind of see what's going on. But, let me see if this is working out better this time. Uh, it is not.
All right, we're out of lives. All right, screw it, man. What the heck just happened? This guy again. Only 19,000 to 28,000. This guy's getting demoted by the alchemist over here. I feel like... Oh, my God. What? There must be something going on with this guy that's making him get demoted. Uh, he should be doing more damage. And he, he must be, like, doing less damage or something like that. I, I, I feel like I can do a quick test here, guys. So what I can do is I can do a quick ring of fire here. And you can see that when we pop balloons, we're going to pop, uh, you know, yellows down to reds, right? All right. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know the exact amount of pierce, but I don't think that's going to matter all that much. I feel like it's a damage issue. It's got to be a damage issue for that much, for that much craziness. All right, let's try it one more time, but let's get in, let's get into quick uh, alchemist over here. All right, and we're going to see is he going to pop these yellows down to? He does. He adds that extra. Th what? the heck? He's popping four layers. It is working properly. Maybe there's an issue with the pop counter. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just leave... Let's just ring of, leave Ring of Fires at... They probably work properly, but it's a little weird. Also, maybe it has something to do with the pop count on this guy, too. Maybe it's the pop count on the Tactures that are just kind of messed up here that's not working properly. Because um, I am relying all of my information here based on just the pop count alone. And I feel like the Alchemist must be doing more damage over here. Uh, and it's just it's just not. So this is just wild to see. Anyways, Tactures, we're going to leave them as a, a, a question mark here. I, you, no matter how many tasks I do, I'm never going to know the actual answer to that. All right. Let's just do a nice tower here. And a nice tower here. I'm not going to go into too much detail with the Heights Towers. Um, I don't think they're going to be very efficient anyways. But we're going to go for it anyways. We're going to try it out. We'll send out some... Uh, you know what, Let's do it like this. Let's do... Uh, what's the monkey village? Okay. There we go. Okay. This... Uh, Passive-aggressive monkey village right here. Let's get one of these bad boys. There's another K up in here. Get it just cuz and then we're gonna go for uh some rainbows let's get some rainbows flowing in here and actually wow doing a pretty good job here man i feel like the uh the damage is probably the interesting thing here that's pretty cool pretty impressed with the ice towers at this point of just doing pretty good amounts of stuff here um after you let him go for a little while you can notice that uh, this guy's going to be at about 1,000, while this guy's at about 3,400. So we're doing about three times damage for a low-tier Ice Tower, which is just, like, really not worth it. Deep Freeze. Let's try, like, an Arctic Wind combo here. Let's go for Arctic Winds. Let's go for Snowstorms. All right, let's go for Snowstorms. We're going to get the double refreeze on these guys and just see where we're at. Let's see what we're going to do. Um, one thing you're noticing is still our pop count's definitely our biggest factor here. Uh, it's just not really that big. Um, but uh, still... Almost about three times the amount of pop and power for this guy. I think once you finally get to like a fourth tier here, it may end up being worthwhile. So, if you're feeling it, man, I could I completely would understand if you wanted to do something like that. But honestly, you probably don't even need it in the first place. If you're already going for one of these guys, he's probably good enough by himself for what you want him to do. You know, like he doesn't need to be a damage doer. He's a slower downerer and uh, something else rare. But you do notice that this range gets increased quite a bit. Um, inside of the range of Monkey Village and over here. And then, if you really want to, if you go absolute zero, the range gets even more insane. So just, just, thro just throwing that out there, guys. That range can be pretty darn crazy. So I think that's all I want to do for Ice Towers. Basically, uh, probably not, but may if you really want to. Glue Gunners! This is going to be interesting, because a Glue Gunner... Let's see, I mean, what what is it even going to do as a zero zero Glue Gunner? Does it do anything? Does it? If we just, like, sent out a, a, a balloon here. Alright, he's accidentally hitting these things. Crap, he's still hitting those things. Uh, here, let's do this. Get a nice, delicious, permanent brew right here. Let's just permanently brew our, uh, our our little blue gunner right here. Permanently brew them, and then we're done. And then we're gonna see Kenny pop balloons. 
Alright, let's get some glue soak action here. Some corrosive glue. And we're still doing, uh, uh, oh, I sold him. Crap, you can't sell him. I'm an idiot. You can't sell him here, guys. Is it gonna power up? Come on, get him. Get him in there. He's totally in the range. He's totally in the range, man. What the heck? Is that guy in the range? Really? Can you not power up glue gunners with the alchemy? I think you can. Maybe I just gotta be out of range just in some stupid way. There we go. We powered him up, but he's not. Now he can hit blue. So, uh, whatever. All right, let's try some rainbows out in here. Let's see. We are doing a pretty good amount of pierce right there. Ooh, baby. I really like that. If you powered up, like, if you really wanted glue, a cheap way to do this, man. Or at least reasonably cheap. Because, I mean, I know going for a bigger globs, glue splatter, and glue hose are really, really expensive. And you still don't even get that much splatter out of these guys. I mean, it's probably more than what you need. But if you want to do something sort of wild here, you want to use them, even if it's just you want to use them in, like, an interesting way here, guys. You could go, uh, get, like, your alchemist over here. Glue. Oops. Glue. There we go. T is Y. Why? Why is glue? Why oh why would glue be why? I don't know. We can go for just uh, some sort of cheap glue gunners here. Just some regular corrosive glue guys. And then we go for a stronger stimulant. I think we could probably power up, you know, maybe all three of these guys. And then just send out a crap ton of rainbows. And you can, oops, let's, that's probably too many. Let's send out 999. Let's see where we're at here. And you can see the, the pretty extreme amount of gluing that we're getting out of these guys. I mean, it's not unbelievable or anything like that, but it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I kind of like it. And then, of course, when you get glue splatter and everything, then the alchemist sort of just loses his edge. It's really not going to be as good as it was before, but it's still not bad. You know, we're still adding that extra uh, random pierce that we can do. So basically, we're allowed to glue more bloons. I feel like the alchemist could definitely be a good combo with the glue gunners. Even if you were to go all the way up to glue hose, it wouldn't be that bad of a combo here. He's going to power him up, add some extra pierce on this thing. And, uh, of course, uh, the damage is probably one of the interesting things here, too. Does it do extra damage? It does not look like it does any extra damage. Blue does not pop two layers per shot. So if I sent out uh, just an example green balloons here, if we glue the green balloons. Get an overflow happening here. Wish I could just... Make this guy not attack. All right, wait for the overflow to maybe happen. All right, but yeah, we're not doing two layers of damage here, which is kind of sad, actually. You know, the glue's not getting affected. The corrosive glue is not being affected by the alchemist at all, and I feel like he still should be. He should be able to do double damage with his glue. Uh, otherwise, what's the point in having him in the game here if he's not going to do his freaking job, Mr. Alchemist? All right, so let's uh, let's finish off here, guys. Let's uh, let's let's just sort of discuss what we what we learned today. Primary monkeys really don't go well with the alchemist. Uh, you know, they're just they're too cheap for the alchemist to be worthwhile for the amount of money you're spending on an alchemist. Again, about forty-five hundred dollars or so for an alchemist, up to fourth, up to fourth tier to power these guys up. It's probably just a little bit too much for when we're only spending about a thousand dollars on a tower. Why not just get four of that same tower instead? It might be much, much better for regular games to get four triple-shot dart monkeys instead of one triple-shot dart monkey with an alchemist next to him. If that makes any sense here, guys. Um, you know, if you actually did add it all up, it would be it would be pretty weird. For example, if we did one of these, one alchemist, boom, 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 and we get a nice quick uh, triple shots with razor sharp shots here, and we just again overload the crap out of the blue and send out some rainbows. Um, if if we got the perfect, the perfect amount of pop and power over here, where every single dart is getting that. Ma oh crap! We lost lives again. Let's change it back up. Let's get it going in here. Keep them going, man. I want more. All right, where we clear all these guys out. All right, after that, this guy's got 6,000. 
to all of these guys up to 1,333. Uh, that's that's really close, actually. I mean, 1,500 would be like the break-even point for 6,000. So actually, this one dart monkey did indeed beat these four dart monkeys here. Price per capita money, G money kind of deal here. The, the This guy won! But in realistic terms, when you're fighting real blooms, you know, when you're fighting level 47 or something like that, uh, can in fact, we can just rebuy this guy. Let's do it again. We'll see what kind of pop count we get out of these guys. All right, and it's much better cleanup and stuff like that. You're not going to miss as much, but let's just send out round 45. I don't even know what round 45 is, but we're doing it. All right, we've got no cam protection. Actually, this dart monkey's doing a too good of a job. All right, I guess we got to send out round 49. Send out round 49. Okay, round 49. Let's go, round 49. Let's go, let's go, let's go, son. But he does have that lead popping power there, which is actually helping out quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. It is uh, quite helpful. Ooh, I think I accidentally sent out a bunch of lead balloons again. Crap. Gosh darn it. Guys, I just, this was just bad. That was just bad. That was just, I overflowed all wrong. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm even trying to do this. But basically, what I want you guys to understand is, again, just to repeat really quick, most primary monkeys are not going to need an alchemist. Even if you go up to fourth tier over here, it seems like they're not really worth it. The only one that I would definitely keep in mind here is maybe some boomerangs. Um, the third tier boomerang seems like he's a really interesting tower to combine with an alchemist over here. And then also, the tack shooters. Now, we we had sort of a weird system here where the, the ring of fire didn't seem like it made very much sense with the... With, uh, the the alchemist, but what I would what I would suspect is happening is that the pop count is just getting wrong, and really the ring of fire is still a really good tower here, and the alchemist does power him up correctly. Uh, interestingly enough, the overdrive seems to not be effective at, at all either with an alchemist, but I also think that this guy is also doing a much much better job with the alchemist. And then, very conclusively, unless the pop count was just unbelievably wrong here, the Mortak 302 texture with an alchemist was unbelievably powerful. Uh, like, ap uh, honestly, I was astounded by this guy, and actually would love to see, like, a double, uh, a double hotshots alchemist combo, and just see how good they could do against, like, some regular levels. So I guess for my last test here, guys, if I had to use him, let's try it out. One last fun little get together here. We go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and I'm just kind of curious if we sent out round 49, what the heck would happen here, guys? That's what I, that's all I want to know. Just what would happen? Are these guys really going to be that powerful here in 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 the alchemist combo world? And I, unbelievably, man. Holy crap, they don't clear out every single balloon, but for the amount of money that we spent right there, this is what it's all about, baby. Holy crap right there. I love these guys. I'm going to learn to love these. I, think, I feel like these are probably one of the most underutilized towers in the game right now after what I've just seen right there. All right, guys, for sure. Oh, my God. I need to use these guys more. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys enjoyed, press that like button for me. I know this is a long one, but uh, I know you guys like it long. So uh, if you enjoyed, press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.